Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to take a look at the PvP missions for Season 1 of the DB Legends Fest. And we're going to take a look at how players can get their hands on some cool rewards like Corona Crystals as well as also Legends Festival Medals. Now we're going to be taking a look at these missions, they're pretty straightforward. There's also a couple interesting bits of information. Uh, firstly, there is the ability to get the PvP medals, there's also the ability to get some equipment medals, and also to get some Corona Crystals from ranking. It is also double RP this season, so if you're looking to climb the ranks, this is going to be the best time to do so. So there's some great rewards that you can get from the dual coin exchange. You can get your hands on some Corona Crystals, some multi Z power, some new sleeves and some new v PvP voice lines. You can find all of this under the exchange section. Now a lot of players are probably going to want to get their hands on the PvP medals so they can exchange them for Chrono Crystals. But you can also get your hands on some Legends Festival medals which a lot of players are going to want. One of the best ways to get your hands on these medals and on some of the PvP medals is actually to complete the missions. Now the missions are pretty straightforward. The missions for this section are actually to simply knock out some characters and to also achieve victory with some of these characters. So it's a pretty straightforward principle. Uh, you can see here that we have a couple missions available and these missions are very simple. You can get quite a sizable amount of rewards from just doing these simple missions. Most of them are related to knocking out characters some are related to winning rated matches, but these are not too terrible. You do basically only need to do uh, you know, 50 or so PvP matches. Obviously, it's a lot to win 50 or so PvP matches for Legends Festival coins, but you can also get Legends Fest coins just by playing in the matches. So you'll get some for winning the matches, you'll get some for completing the missions, and you'll get some dual coins for winning matches and also for completing the missions as well. So there's a lot of great value to have here uh, in terms of completing these missions. Now, in terms of what you can actually get with the rewards, well, there is the exchange shop. The exchange shop features some pretty nice rewards, uh, mainly to do with the dual coins. The dual coins will give uh, 300 Chrono Crystals, which is always greatly appreciated some chrono crystals is always something pretty good but you also can get some additional value there's some multi z power that is available there is energy uh, that is also available there's you know some solar exchange metals that you can get there's just some pretty useful tools for people that are interested in grabbing some resources so yeah pretty straightforward stuff i would say at least obviously you know to cut a long story short I think most players are in it for the Chrono Crystals and gathering some of the Legends Festival coins. So it's all pretty good stuff. There's no Legends Limited Z power this time, uh, but pretty straightforward. To do all of this, you are going to have to do rated PvP. Rated PvP can be accessed from the PvP screen. And yeah, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just basically play. Now the thing is, if you lose, you'll be knocked down in ranking. If you win, you'll go up in ranking. It's double RP, so you can literally lose like five matches and win one, and you'll probably still go up in ranking. So feel free to really try and do a grind into ranked PvP, and you should have a good time. That's everything you need to know, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.